Hey, good morning, church. I'm titling this morning's devotional uh, in a very particular way, and that's this. You don't want what the devil's got in his crock pot. I'm gonna say that again. You don't want what the devil's got in his crock pot. I wanna take you to Genesis 25, and starting in verse 29, it says this. This is the story of uh, Esau selling his birthright to his brother Jacob. And so we're gonna start in verse 29. Once when Jacob was cooking stew, and here's what you need to know about Jacob. Jacob was a bit more indoorsy. Uh, he, he was also pretty crafty, um, whereas his brother Esau was like kind of caveman, like I'm a hunter, I'm a go-getter, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out and, and hunt for my food and, and kill it and all this kind of stuff. So that's kind of what we're, the situation we're in. Jake, uh, Jacob is making stew inside. Um, he probably has his own cooking show at this point. And Esau's like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm starving. And he's coming in and he's starving. He's so hungry. So once when Jacob was cooking stew, Esau came in from the field and he was exhausted. And Esau said to Jacob, let me eat some of that red stew for I am exhausted. Therefore, his name was called Edom. Jacob said, sell me your birthright right now. So Jacob's like, oh, you want some stew? Why don't you give me your entire blessed inheritance? That sounds like a good deal, right? And Esau said, I'm about to die. Of what use is my birthright to me? Jacob said, swear to me now. So he swore to him and sold his birthright to Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and lentil stew and he ate and drank and rose and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. So. Here's what I take from this story. I think what happens in life is we make very permanent decisions based on temporary emotions. And that's exactly what the enemy is looking for. He's looking for that one moment where you're exhausted, where you're tired, where you're just fed up in life. But here's the deal. What you need to remember is God has promised you something greater than that moment that you're feeling right now. So I don't know what you're going through, but I want you to know that God is watching out for you because he's given you a plan and a purpose for your life. And if you'll just hold on and really check yourself when you're in those moments of weakness and look to God and go, God, I know that you've promised me something and I need your help right now in this moment. So maybe you're in one of those moments right now. Maybe you're, you're coming from the field. Maybe you had a crazy day at work and you're coming home and you're just exhausted. And it, maybe, you're, maybe you're working through a temptation right now and, and you're wanting to give into that. And I want, you to, I want you to know that God loves you and he cares about that, uh, cares about that feeling that you're feeling right now. But what he also cares more about is your future. So don't give up right now just because you have a temporary feeling. Don't make a permanent decision on that feeling. Make a, make a permanent decision to lean into your faith and press into God's presence and go to him. And I think that's so important in the season that we're in that right now. So church, I love you. Keep pressing forward. We'll get through this and I'll see you soon.